worship you. Take all the glory for you deserve them as we worship you in Jesus' name. Let us clap our hands as we Jesus. thank Jesus. Come on, I'm Jesus. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. I ask who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. I ask who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Say who has the final say. Jehovah has the final say. My brother, who has your final say? Jehovah has the final say. My sister, who has your final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has a final say. Jehovah turns our lives around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has a final say. My brother who has your final say. Jehovah has a final say. My sister who has your final say. Jehovah has a final say. Today who has your final say. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has a final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Just raise your hand straight. Jehovah turns your life around. I just want to hear you say, Jehovah turns your life around. I am not getting your voices. Say, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. My brother, who has your final say? Jehovah has the final say. My sister, who has your final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the 
Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. Oh, he makes a way. He makes a way where there seems no way. Jehovah has the final say. I want you to lift your heart to the Father. I want you to take some minutes to tell the Father that you thank Him for this moment. That He has kept you alive to reach this fight. It is not by your strength, it is not by your mighty. The Bible says it is not by my own power, but by the Spirit that liveth. And we have gathered here to worship Jehovah. We have come to worship Yeshua. He is our King, He is our Messiah. We have no other God to worship except Him alone. Raise your voice and to tell Him, Father, we love you. For you are who you are today. There is no other king who could have given us enough time to be in this place except him. He is the king alone. He is your father. He says in his word, call upon me at any time and I shall answer to you. That you have gathered here with the purpose of prayer. That he says in his we worship you, Jesus. You are Yahweh, Lord. You are Yahweh, Father. Raise your hands to the Father. And tell him that we are here, Lord. We need your presence. We need your presence, Lord. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. We exalt thee, Lord. We exalt thee, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. If angels bow in your presence in worship, so we are, Lord. If all men in the presence worship you, so we are, Lord. Tonight we are gathered in your presence to worship you. For we love you, Lord. We love your presence. We love your presence, Father. You are in the midst of every heart, Lord. You speak to every soul, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. You are the eternal God. We worship you, Father. Yeshua. Amashia, Lion of Judah, Agune Simba, Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Agune Simba. Yeshua, Amasia, I am today. Yeshua, Amasia. Raise your voice to the Father, tell him that he's alone in you. We worship you. I am not to 
Was the power tell him is Yeshua, he's the only God, he's the only king alone that deserves all the praises, he's the only king alone who deserves all the worship. The Bible says that in Revelation chapter 5, that he has risen people in the world and upon the surface of the earth to worship him, that he has brought people by his own precious blood, that he has sent them to adore him, to honor him. And there is no other person to worship him except us on earth. That we have been granted the opportunity to adore him. That we have been granted the opportunity to settle in this place. To say that is worthy of all the praise. That is worthy of all the honor. Lord, we worship you. We have come to speak of your word, Lord. We have come to speak of your goodness. We have come to speak of your wonders of a father this night. We have come to speak of the great works, oh Lord, that you will do with us, Lord, this evening. Oh, we worship you. Oh, Lord, we adore you. There is no other father like you. There is no other God like you. There is no other king like you. You are Yeshua. You are our father. You are the king of kings. You are the Lion of Judah. You reign in majesty. You reign in power. You reign in glory. Oh Lord, there is no one to compare with your goodness. You say when we look at the works of your hand, Lord, it is uncomparable, Lord. That you have set everything into place. The sun and the moon into place. You have created man in your own likeness and in your own image. That you have made them, Lord, to be righteous before you. You have given them an opportunity, Lord, to worship you for who you are. We adore you, for you are God alone. For you are awesome, God alone. And this evening, Lord, we gather to say you are Yeshua. We gather to say you are Yeshua. We are gathered to say you are Yeshua. And there is none like you, Jesus. And there is none like you, King of Kings. And there is none like you, Abba Father. You say, children on earth receive of the Father, and we are gathered to receive what you have said for us, Abba Father. Oh Lord, we say you are Yahweh. We say you are Yahweh, Lord. We lift our hearts saying that you are Yahweh and Yahweh alone. Oh hallelujah, Yahweh, you are alone, Father. You are Yahweh, Lord, Alpha and Omega. We worship you for you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega, Lord. You are Yahweh, Lord. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. We have no other God to worship except you, Jesus. We worship you. 
Just rise your hearts to the Father. Rise your mind to the Father and call him to be the only God that you serve. We worship you, Lord. You are our Lord. We worship you, Father. You are our Lord. We adore you, Father. We worship you.
That you can increase, we diminish. That you can increase, we diminish. That you can increase, we exalt to Jesus. We magnify the Lord. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. 
Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Come on. Just lift up your hands to God. Lift up your hands to God. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Tell him, it's a Rena. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Surrender it to God. Just surrender it to God. Every burden that you have carried, everything that you came with today, just release it to God. Just release it to God. Just release it to God. Everything that is weighing your heart, just tell Him, Lord, I release it today. I surrender this job. I surrender this battle. I surrender this thing, this burden. I surrender it to you today, God. As I come in the place of prayer, Lord, I surrender, God. I surrender everything. You know the best for me, God. Thank you, Jesus. surrender to you today we are praying God that your presence we are praying God that you will take full control in this place minister to us God and speak to us we thank and we bless you in Jesus name we pray can somebody say amen hallelujah. come on give the Lord a hand clap come on hallelujah amen Thank you so much, worship team. May the Lord bless you so much. You can have your seats. You will find my assignment today in the book of Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, verse 28. Luke chapter 9, verse 28. I believe you came with your Bible and you're ready for God today. Luke chapter 9, verse 28. In the interest of time, just allow me to read. It says, about eight days after Jesus said this, that is Luke chapter 9, verse 28, 
he took Peter, John, and James with him and went up onto the mountain to pray. As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor talking with Jesus. They speak about his departure, which he was about to bring to fulfillment at Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were very sleepy, but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As the men were leaving Jesus, Peter said to him, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us put three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud appeared and covered them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. A voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, they found that Jesus was alone. The disciples kept this in themselves and did not tell anyone at that time what they had seen. May the Lord bless his word. I want to share with us on what I've titled the benefits of the prayer altar. The benefits of the prayer altar. All of us must come to a place where we need to build a prayer habit. We need to have a prayer altar. A place that you constantly and consistently, that you co continuously want to pray, there is a God to answer. And any time you seek the face of the Lord in prayer, there is a God that is waiting to give you answers. So today expect an answer from the Lord as you came to pray. Can I hear an amen? amen? Every time we need to spend time before God, every time we need to build the habit of making prayer. And I want to get straight into the benefits of having a prayer altar. Jesus had built a habit of praying. And we see in this particular place that he took three of his disciples, Peter, John, and James, and he took them to the mountain, not for a picnic, but he took them to the mountain to pray, to seek the face of the Lord. And as he was praying, the Bible says that the appearance of his face was changed. As he was seeking God, the appearance of his face was altered. I wanted to know one benefit of having a prayer habit, having a prayer altar, is that prayer changes things. As you take time to pray, understand prayer has the power to change things. And one thing that prayer does, it changes you. Most of the time, we want things to be altered outside. But understand, before things are altered outside, you have to receive the altering inside. Things do not begin changing outside. People go to pray, and they want God to change things outside. The first benefit of change that will come in your life when it comes to prayer, prayer must first change you. Can you say prayer must first change me? Aha. Uh -huh. Prayer must first change you. Like the way you go to God and you're pleading with God, please change this, do this, or you want to alter the will of God or want to alter the plan of God in your life. Let me tell you something. The first alteration that takes place, the first change that takes place is that prayer must first change you. You have to be changed by prayer. And I want you to know something. Prayer changes things. It does not only change you, but it also changes things. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says that the prayer, when he was praying, his face, it says clearly that his face, the appearance of his face changed. Verse 29, the appearance of his face changed. There is something that prayer is going to change in your life today. As you spend time before God, I want to prophesy to someone, something is about to change. I said something is about to change. Maybe you are living a life of pain. That pain is about to change. 
Because anytime you spend time in prayer, God will change something. Maybe you're living a life where you're saying, I'm constantly failing. I want to speak to you today. Prayer has the power to change things. Don't give up my brother. Don't lose my sister. Don't cop out. Please understand, prayer changes things. That is why when you're praying for somebody, never ever give up. Don't leave the place of your prayer. Don't allow the devil to tell you, this one cannot change. Prayer has the power to change everyone and anyone. If you are bringing a prayer before God, don't leave your place of prayer. Keep on praying because prayer changes things. There is the benefit of something that comes your way when you take prayer and consistently pray. Prayer will change something in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. So maybe you have prayed for something for too long. I want to tell you, please don't leave it. Don't stop praying. Prayer changes things. There is nothing that prayer cannot change. Praise the name of the Lord. There is nothing that prayer cannot change. There's, there's a story about a woman who was living next to a mountain, next to a hill. And she kept on praying and saying, God, move this mountain from here. Move this mountain from here. Because for her, the mountain was a hindrance to her shamba. The mountain was a hindrance to her. And she kept on asking God, God, you said, we shall move mountains. So she prayed and told God, move the hill. It was a physical hill. And as she kept on praying, years went by. Years went by. One day, they were doing, I think, I don't know whether it was a road construction, and they needed stones. They needed stone and gravel to build the road. And the constructor shopped around, and he saw a hill somewhere. And he said, you know what? We can harvest stone from this hill. And as we have a stone from this hill, all the kilometers that we need to, to lay gravel, we will be able to do it because this big hill is sufficient enough. So they bought bulldozers, they bought uh, cranes, they bought all these manner of machines, and they began to harvest the mountain. They began to harvest the stones. And they harvested the whole mountain until by the time they were done having their stones and the time they were done building the road, that mountain was no longer there. It had been flattened. It had been flattened. And guess what? Someone came and told this woman, you know, when you were praying that let this mountain get moved, we thought your mind has gone bananas. You are, we thought you are mad. But as we look now, the mountain is no more. The hill is no more. We are able to see from this side to the other side because the hill has been moved. Let me tell you, prayer changes things. It can look as if it is something that is very hard and something that is very immovable. I want to tell you, please face it. Keep praying for it. Don't leave the place of prayer. Tell God what you want him to do. Speak to that thing in prayer. And as you constantly do it, guess what? It will change. Things will be altered. I believe I'm talking to people here today. I see your families receiving change. I see your jobs receiving change. I see that business that is not bringing profit receiving change. I see somebody enjoying full health because change is coming. Do I have a believer? Can you shout a big amen? I see that person that has constantly been disturbing you. I see them receiving change because prayer changes things. Anytime you are constantly praying about it, guess what? God will ensure that it changes. Can you say my situation is changing? I cannot hear. Can you say my situation is changing? One day Jacob in Genesis chapter 32 was wrestling with God in, 20, in verse 22. And as he kept on wrestling with the angel, and he said, I'm not leaving you until you bless me. Guess what? The Bible says that the angel touched the socket of, 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 of his bones, of his leg. And when he touched the socket in the west, guess what? This man, his walk changed. His walk changed. And not only his walk, he asked him, what is your name? And the man said, I am Jacob, which means a supplanter. And the angel of the Lord said, from today, you shall no longer be known as Jacob. You shall be known as Israel. Israel are the people of God. Israel 
are the children of God. A man that was known as a supplanter, a man that was known as a thief, guess what? His destiny changed. His future changed. His things changed. His name changed. And guess what? The man had spent time with God a whole night. I don't know who I came for today. As you seek the face of the Lord, I want to speak to you. Prayer changes things. That thing is going to change. Don't lose up, my brother. That situation is going to turn around. That area that you have said it has been long in my life, I am not seeing change. I came to tell you, as you keep on pushing in prayer, prayer has the power to alter situations. Prayer has the power to change situations. So tonight, we are going to face our situations. And our situations will have to change because we have a power, we have a God, we have a power that comes by prayer. As we pray, it changes in the name of the Lord. If you are the one I'm speaking to, say, I receive it. And the Bible says, number two, that as he was praying, his robe became white and glistering. His robe became white and glistering. Any time you come before God, understand, God will make you to shine brighter and brighter. This is our month of shining. This is our month of shining. As he was praying, guess what? His clothes became bright. They became white. The Bible says that the path of a righteous is always brighter and brighter. Can you say, my path will be brighter and brighter. So that means your tomorrow shall be better. That means next month shall be better. That means you're not going under. You're not going down. You are going higher and higher and higher. Why? Because the path of a righteous shines brighter and brighter. And today, I want you to understand, as you pray, prayer has the ability, the power to make you shine. I prophesy, may you shine in your area. I said, may you shine in your career. I said, may you shine in your business. May you shine in your family. Everyone that is in college doing an exam, I decree and declare, may you shine. Because prayer makes you to shine. Can you say, I'm going to shine? Number three, we are looking at the benefits of having a prayer altar. Prayer brings destiny instructions. Prayer brings destiny instructions. The Bible says in verse 30 that behold two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah and they were conversing with him concerning what Jesus was about to fulfill. Do you know when you take time to pray prayer is not a monologue. Prayer is a dialogue. You talk to God and he talks back to you. You talk to God and he gives you instructions. So anytime you get into the place of prayer, please inculcate the habit of collecting instructions from God. And God has instructions for you. God came as Jesus was praying, sent two people who talked to him concerning his future. What he was about to do what? What he was about to fulfill. And I wanted to understand something. That as you seek the face of the Lord, you will not come out of this place clueless. I said you will not come out of this place clueless. There are many people who are confused. You ask them, what does your future, what is the plan for your future? I don't know. What do you think you're supposed to be doing? I don't know. By now you should be knowing your dominant thing on earth. What you're supposed to do. Hello? And if you do not know, go before God. Because he is able to give you instructions concerning your destiny. He is able to tell you what you need to do. He is able to encourage you in the way that you're going. He is able to speak to you concerning your future. Bona sifiwe. Hey, bona sifiwe. You know, we need to get to a place where we are not just seeing our future, but we are also seeing our day-to-day -day events. I think I'm talking to the wrong people. 
We need to get to a place where God is ministering to us that our day-to-day -day events are open to you. Like you're seeing a TV. That you will know a customer will enter my shop and they are dressed in purple. And as that customer comes, that customer is not a good customer. They have ulterior motives. And God is showing you. So as you go to your shop, and as you continue selling, the purple dressed one comes in. And because God has released instructions concerning your day, you are able to deal with them accordingly because you have divine instructions. Hello? We need to get to a level where God is telling us things and he's telling you, don't do this, do that. He has to release instructions your way. Can you say, Father, open my eyes, open my ears to hear destiny instructions. You have to. I told you of a story one day of how a man was praying and God told him, go to the bank. And he told him, go to that bank. And he was so specific. And he woke up from the place of prayer, went and entered the bank. And he stood behind the line. And as the people were coming to the teller, he realized he's coming closer to the teller. Then he moved behind. And then again, he did the same thing. You remember those days when we used to have the lines in the bank? And so he did again did again. By the time he was coming close to the tailor, I mean to the tailor, again he went back. And he did this thing until it came to the time when the bank was being closed. By that time, he was the only one standing at the, at the bank there. So, the tailors are looking at him. They are calling him, but he's not moving. Then the manager was called, and he looked at him and then they went and talked to him. And they told him, hey, man, until withdrawing anything, he said, um, wait a minute. Then they asked him, do you have an account in this bank? He said, I don't have an account in this bank. So they asked him, what are you doing here then? Because we have seen, we've watched, even on the CCTV, you are in the line, and then you go back. You've been in the line, then you go back. We doubt whether you're a good man. And he said, you know, no, me, I'm a good man. I'm a man of God. God today morning when I was praying instructed me and told me to come to this bank. And so I'm waiting for his next instruction because God told me to come here. And guess what? As he was saying that, all the bankers were listening. Then one banker said, ah, I know. Today morning God told me I'm going to send a man of God to you. And you're supposed to give him an X amount of money from your account. So I think you are the one. And he told the man, come here. And he went to the account because he had an account in the bank, removed what God had told him, and gave to the man. And the man of God took it, counted the money, and realized it was exactly what he needed to do something for in his church. And he walked out of that place, no account, nothing. Only by hearing the voice of God and following the instructions of God. Go to that bank. God will always give you instructions. When you take time to pray, there are destiny instructions that God is going to release your way. May you receive your instructions today. I said may you receive your instructions today. May your ears be open. One thing you need to be praying is that your ears will be open to know the instructions of God. Anytime you're spending time before God, he has instructions. He has instructions. He told Elijah, go. When the still small voice came, anoint for me uh, uh, Elisha. Go, anoint for me Jehu. Go, anoint for me. And, and, and he went and anointed as he was instructed. Every time you go, you will get an instruction. One day David went before God and he asked God, shall I pursue over my enemy? And as he was praying, God told him, pursue. And you will not only pursue, you will overtake them. And so he got the instruction to the next level. I'm speaking to you today. Do you have your instructions? My prayer is that by the time you leave your place of prayer, 
you will have clear instructions. No more confusion in your life. Can I hear better? Amen. No more confusion. Confusion is not from God. Confusion is from the devil. And you need to come to a place where you tell the devil, I'm not going to be confused. Hello? I don't know about you, but I like reading autobiographies. And, and, and especially autobiographies of the generals in the kingdom of God. And you read of how God would be telling them things. And some of them even knew the day they were going. Oh, yeah? God needs to be telling us instructions so that we live a life that is full. Do you know David made a prayer? He said, Lord, teach us to number our days. Have you read that scripture? Teach us to number our days. Another translation says, teach us to interpret our existence. Because the days of man are three scores and a half, 70. By reason of strength, you get to 80. And then, if God gives you more, after 80, you're living a bonus life. David in his old age said, teach us. You need to get to a place where you are interpreting your existence. Why are you here? You are having instructions. In your place of prayer, I want you to enjoy such a kind of a life where you pray, then God releases it as a blueprint so that you know today, I'm going like this. I'm doing like this. I'm going to engage into this. I have my destiny instructions. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, can I speak to you? You will not waste your life. I said you will not waste your life. You are not permitted if you are under the sound of my voice for you to get to age 50 and that is the time you discover. Ah, I was supposed to study biology. I was supposed to major in botany and zoology. And me, I went to do history. No. Now, God is going to release instructions. People don't want to say amen. Now, God is going to tell you instructions. That is why the place of prayer, he releases instruction. He speaks to you, not only about anything. He will tell you about your business. He will tell you about your children. He will tell you about your spouse. He will tell you about your career. He will tell you about yourself. He will tell you about your investments. Learn to get to a place where you are hearing the instructions of God concerning your destiny. So that you stop living a life of hit or miss. May you receive divine instructions. Number what? Number four. Are we in number four? Or five? You're not talking to me. Number four. Prayer brings God's glory down. It brings the glory of God in your life. Write it quickly. The Bible says while he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were fearful, verse 34, as they entered the cloud. I want you to know the glory of the Lord will come in your life as you take time in prayer. You will always have God's glory. Can I hear an amen? amen. There are places where people look at you, and they see your life not glorified. Guess what? They entered the cloud. All of them entered the cloud because there was prayer that was made. Today, you shall enter into the glory of God. You will enjoy the glory of God. The glory of God, you will enjoy it. Because when it comes down, it makes things easy for you. They entered into the cloud. Praise the name of the Lord. Number five benefit, write this one down. Prayer makes the voice of God audible. When you pray, you begin hearing the voice of God. It makes the voice of God audible. As we are here, there are many voices that are going, passing through. True or false? True or false? There is Ramogi voice passing through here. There is, uh, which one? Radio Maisha voice passing through here. There is Citizen passing through here. There's BBC passing through here. All those are voices. Voice of Kenya, voice of whatever, passing through here. 
there are voices that are passing through this place. There is a voice. People are talking via their mobile phones. So there are voices that are passing through here. And you need to get to a place where you have the gadget of catching a particular voice. I think it was yesterday in our grace group where a point came and people were discussing about how when you tune a radio it has to do shh until you get to a place where it gets it. Not wakasema hiyo ni mchele, ni mchele. Mchele shh pardon ni mchele, mchele naonesha mchele mchele. And then you come to a place where it is clear. The sad thing is that many Christians are living kwa hiyo mchele zone. Uko kwa mchele mchele. How ski sauti? How we ski? Na Mungu anaongea. Hello? Mungu anaongea. How we ski? Lakini Mungu anaongea. Mungu hajaacha kuongea. God is speaking. And you need the gadget to catch the voice and to tune yourself into it. And as you pray, it becomes audible. You never miss the voice of God when you are a man and a woman of prayer. Hello? Do you remember Elijah? There was thunder, but the man knew God is not there. There was earthquake. He knew God is not there. There was lightning. Jamal kwa metulia. I like this man. And one of the prayers I always make is that God, you will help me have discernment like this guy. Because today if we see thunder done, ah, that's where we run. When you see earthquake, oh my goodness, God has moved. When there is lightning, God is there. Did you see how God was lightening the place? Did you see how things were happening? Did you see how powerful the meeting was? Na kumbe ni mgurumo. Namathanda. Elijah was not moved. He was still in the cave. Where piga tu mi gurumo zako, piga tu rada, piga piga tu. He's still in the grave. And I mean in in the cave. Then he had a still small voice, and the Bible says he stood up, covered himself, went to the entrance of the temple because he knew this is my God speaking. May that voice of God become clear to you. I said may the voice of God become clear, crystal clear to you that you will hear it audible. The Bible says the voice of God spoke and they all heard God speaking. They all heard him speak and he spoke to them. May the Lord speak to you. I told you prayer is not monologue. It's a dialogue. May you hear the voice of God speaking to you. Tonight you will hear the voice of God. Can I hear better amen? Can I hear better amen? And then quickly, because of time, when we're in the place of prayer, prayer brings confirmation. God confirms things to you. He was confirming today. He said, in the voice, he said, this is my son. Listen to him. He confirmed it to them. So that even if they get to a place of doubt, he confirms. You know, the will of God will be confirmed in your life. When you spend time in prayer, God will confirm. This is my son. Listen to him. God will confirm and tell you, I'm with you, my daughter. Don't leave what you're doing. Don't leave what you're doing, my son. That is my com I'm with you in that place. And God confirmed. He confirmed. And if there are people who are doubting you, let me tell you something. As you continue praying, God is going to confirm you. I said, God is going to confirm you. I said, God is going to confirm you. Those who are doubting whether you are called, those who are doubting whether you have the anointing of God in your life, those who are doubting whether you are doing the right, let me tell you, God is going to ensure that there are results in your life. He's going to confirm that he's with you. I said God is going to confirm that he's with you. So don't live just like that. Keep on praying. Even when you feel like you're giving up, 
keep on praying because God wants to confirm that he's with you. And lastly, the benefit of having a prayer altar is that as you pray, prayer brings revelation. Prayer brings revelation. The Bible says that the three, they saw, they saw Moses standing there. You know? They saw him talking with Jesus. They saw Elijah standing there. You know? And they saw him talking with Jesus. And more than that, they heard that this is the one to follow. And the Bible says clearly, as they walked out of that place, there are some things they saw, but they didn't tell anyone. Because prayer will always usher you into the place of revelation. Revelation. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, from today, you shall move with revelation. Uh -huh. Look at another and say, neighbor, from today, you shall move with revelation. God needs to reveal some things to you. Things that are not with every John and Sandry, no. Things that are just secrets that is giving to you. Revelations that you are getting. Kingdom secrets. They are revealed in the place of prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. So you don't have to be busy trying to look for a prophet. What is God saying? What is the revelation of the hour? Spend time before God. As God is showing the prophet, he's also going to show you. He's also going to reveal to you. Hello? Hey, hello? I want you to know we are moving to the realm of revelations. God wants you to get to a place where he reveals things to you. Do you remember what he said concerning Abraham? He said this, Can I do something and have not revealed it to my servant? So God, who had already started a journey to go and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he said, I'm not going to do it without revealing it to my servant. May you receive revelations. May you receive revelations concerning your life, concerning your future. Joseph, God revealed to him what he's going to become. And that is why wherever he was, he knew this is the revelation concerning my life. You have to get to a place where you need to understand God wants to reveal to you things. Revelations. And revelations will help you in some areas. I was listening to a story of, of and I, I think I've said it here, of a man of God. He went somewhere and he was preaching and after preaching he went to eat. And the ones that brought food to him they had put poison in his meal so that he eats the meal and dies. But when they put the, the portion of the food on the table, he looked, he saw all the other plates are okay, and the plate that he has been given has poison. God revealed it to him. So the man of God said, uh-uh, I'm not going to eat. I want to go and pray. God is telling me not to eat. And so he took the cup, the plate away, told them, return it. Eat the food. And they refused to eat that food. He said, uh -huh, you brought the food to me. Eat. You eat it. And the one serving refused to eat the food. At the end of the day, whatever ate the food, I think it was a dog or something, died. Because they had put poison in that thing. And the server had to Confess and say, you know what? We had put poison here because we wanted you to eat and die. There are some things that God needs to reveal to you. Some of you I want to speak into your life. You've been entering into relationships that are destructive. From today, a revelation will come in your life. I said a revelation will come in your life. Some of you have entered into contracts that are destructive. A revelation will come into your life. God is going to show you whether you should go on 
or you should leave or get out of that particular transaction because God is in the business. He said, I will not do anything without revealing it to my servant. God needs to reveal things in your life. I'm not hearing an amen. He needs to. And when we get into prayer, please understand something. This kind of prayer is not the prayer that you just make like that. Quickly, as you pray, focus in that prayer. Focus. 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 The Bible says they went to pray. He took James, John, and, 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 and Peter. They three slept, but Jesus kept on praying. For you to enjoy the benefits of praying at the altar, you have to focus in the prayer. Because as you focus, guess what? You will get these benefits. These people were sleeping, but Jesus was not sleeping. Focus. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Don't leave the place of prayer. Don't allow sleep to take you. Keep on praying. And as you keep on praying, guess what? The blessing of God comes in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two that you need to do, make sure that you discern God's voice. Know the voice of God. Peter told Jesus, Master, let us put three shelters in this place. Because in the place of prayer, as you pray, people will come with their own revelations. People will come with their own things. And people will come with their own instructions. But you have to have your ears deaf to the instructions of men, but open to the instructions of God. When they told him, let us build the altars, he did not do it. Let us build three for us. We did not do it. He kept on going on because he had heard from God and God had told him what he needs to do and God was speaking, gave him instructions. You have to have your ears open, have the heart to discern what God is saying. Are we together? Have the heart to discern what God is saying. And lastly, lastly, please, have the heart for other people. Have the heart for other people. When he was going to prayer, the Bible says he took James, John, and Peter. He did not go alone. He had the heart of other people. Let's have the heart of other people. Pulling people with us in the place of prayer. Seeking him in the place of prayer. Let's stand up on our feet in the name of the Lord. Let's stand up on our feet in the name of the Lord. I want you to spend time before God. I'm going to give you 15 minutes just to talk to God in your own way, in your own way. I, want, I don't want to give you prayer points, but I want you to just think as you pray. Prayer changes things. What is it that needs to be changed? Please pray that it shall be changed in the name of the Lord. Pray that you're going to receive instructions from God. Pray that the glory of the Lord is going to come down. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray that you shall hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. As we come to you today, Lord, we are praying, saying that you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be worshipped. You are worthy to be given the glory and the honor. You alone are mighty. You alone are great. You alone are glorious. In the name of Jesus, come on, talk to God. I want you to pray. Remember, this prayer is a focused prayer. Don't worry what your neighbor is doing. Don't worry what they are doing. You focus, you focus, you focus. Let them be Peter to you. Let them be John to you. Let them be James to you. You take time to pray. Take time and pray. Take time and pray. In the name of Jesus. Yakata Daboziga. Riko Sikata Yande. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the heart of travail will rest upon us today. I pray that the heart of prayer will rest upon us today. I pray that the heart of prayer will rest upon our lives today. In the name of Jesus, Lakata Deboziga, Lakata Deboziga, Ziko Sikata Yanana Moziga, Lakata Zikata Raboziga, Nako Sikete Debeziri, Naketa Raboziga Rabosika. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Pray today. Prayer changes things. 
pray for that thing. Let it change in the name of Jesus. Let that habit change in the name of Jesus. La kosika takika pokata pokata jega lika sikata yande. Father, today we are praying. La bosika tayaboziga. Let prayer change. Let prayer change things. We bring our families into your hands. We are praying, God, that you're going to change to your glory in the name of Jesus. We bring our church into your hands. We are praying, God, today, let it change to your glory in the name of Jesus. Rakata rabosika, rakata dabozibi, zakata dabaziga debede boziga, rakosika tayana ne moziga, kabazoka ziga, kabakota suka, kabaziga raboziba, makata diboziga. Let prayer change. Let it change. Let it change. As we seek you, we are praying, God, change, change us today. We have held appetites that are not of you. We are praying, God, change it. We have done things uh, that are not of you. We are praying God change it. Uh, we've been held in habits uh, that are not for you. We are praying God change it. Uh, as I seek you tonight, uh, I pray God change. Uh, change uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I need your hand uh, to rest upon me. I need your hand uh, to rest upon my life. Uh, I need your hand uh, to rest upon my life. Uh, change uh, in the name of Jesus. Rakata dabuzima. Bukata bakata dabuzika. Rakata de de boziga, anakosika taya boziga. In this place, uh, I pray let there be a change. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I pray God change. Uh, lika dika de koziga, lika dika da boziga, liko sika taya da boziga, nakete de de boziga. Over this place, uh, I pray let the atmosphere, let the atmosphere change. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, let the atmosphere change uh, for Your glory. Let the atmosphere change uh, for Your glory. Glory in the Namo Shakita Dabuziba, Rakata Dadebu, Rakata Kite de Berebe, Rembe de Beraba Zandi, Lakata de Beraba Zandi, Rika de Gadabala Buziga, Lika de Gadebele Buziga, Lika de Gadabala Buziga de Berabo Zandi, Lakata Yakata Dabuzi, Lakata Yakata Dabuziga, Lakata Yakata de Bozandi, Mandekete de Buziga, change. Let there be change in our medicine, let there be change in our lives, let there be change in our hearts. Change. This is Abushika Tarabaziga. Mande gede de 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 Tayama, come on, pray, come on, pray, come on, pray. Push it in the name of Jesus. Go before the Lord. Pray for Shabashi Katayabo, Shabakatika Leboziga, Rakata Nemo Zige Rebezebe, Mandra Katalebozebe, Leketibana Mazando Rebela Mazare, Lakata Yanga Labozige Rebeboziga, Lakata Yande Rebela Bazubu, Mande Rebela Bazige Rebeboziga, Mokata Labazere, Mokata Yakata Labozera, Mokata Yika Zika Labozebe. Mokata yi kata la mozera, la kata ya na la moze, manda rabale bariba, mande debele bere boriala, mande ke debele bozi ke debele bala mazande, le kabaka tala ba ma 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 Lord, in our church, it is change that we need. Father, Lord, as we seek you tonight, I pray God bring change, bring change, bring change in our lives, bring change in our hearts, bring change. Yadazia, Yadazoba, Yadaziga, Yadazobra, Ranene Moziba, Rika Sikata Yede, Zenene Moziba, Yakata Limbreze Moziba, Yenene Menebe, Zadede Bezigela Bazande, change. Kata si kata yama zeba, bakata rabu zeba, mambre zeba, mambre zebe, mambre zebe ya, maketa baki dia zeba, mambre zeba la maziba, mambre gede bere bere boziga, likiti ti si kiti boziga, likiti si kiti ribu ziga, liko si kiti ti ti bere boziba, rikata yane ne boziga, lekata yara boziga, change our health situation, change it in the name of Jesus. I pray God for marriages. 
that are not working. I pray God change. Bring change in the name of Jesus. Our children that are not behaving well. I pray God as we seek it. Change in the name of Jesus. I pray God areas that we are not committed. I pray God bring a change as we seek your face. Change. Change. Alter. Alter the captivity that the devil has brought on the people of God as we seek your face. I pray alter. Change. Ikatika soka. Naka shike begezega. Yaba soka. Rakata namoziga. Yaba kote lebe shika. Retetetete bozika. Yaba kota shika tayamoziga. Change. Abakata rebo ziga. Niko shika tayaba. In our careers. We pray God today. Change. Bring change. Bring change. Ekate sepa shika. Change. Bring change. In the name of Jesus. Yagadazada bozika. Rakotsike tedebelebele boziga, manderebele boziga, rata kata yada, rakata sikata yabo, rakata sikete de boziga, inga nano riala, inga nemo zebele bezere, lika sikata yabo ziga, inko sike keke sikata yada, inko siko koko yade bazoga. I pray God change, bring change, bring change in our hearts. I pray God bring change. We want a heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. I pray give us a heart heart of flesh, not a heart of stone. We are praying God change. Yagaziga daboziga lekosika tayana moziga. We commit our spouses into your hands. We pray God where there is change, where there is need of change. Lord, bring change. I pray God for the people that are gathered here and their spouses are not born again. I pray for the congregants that come to House of Grace and their spouses are not born again. Father, as they see your face. I pray change their hearts. 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 In the name of Jesus. Change. In the name of Jesus. I pray for the congregants of House of Grace Mombasa as they seek your face. As we seek your face God. I pray change our hearts. Let our hearts be after you. Let our hearts be after you. Let our hearts be after you. Let us be a church that walks in love. Let us be a church that walks in love. I pray God change. Lakata ziga da boziga. Bring change. Iye je je boziga. Iye garo si kata ya boziga. Lamo si kata ya da boziga. Change. I pray ya bozare. Mankata diga de 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 bozi. Rana na mana mana boriyala. Mankata diga de bola boziga. Mokata la boziga. Mokata libro zebe. Mokata libro zela. Mokata riga da boziga. I pray God. Change, change what needs to be altered in House of Grace Mombasa. I pray God alter it according to your plan, alter it according to your will, alter it according to your word in the name of Jesus. I pray God what needs a change, alter it. Ekadosika, alter it. Bozika Tayana Mose, Makata Diga Dabozande, alter it. Ekatosika Taribozika, Nakete de Bozika. The leaders that need change, I pray God change, alter in the name of Jesus. Lekatika da boziga, alter that we can be the church that you want us to be in the name of Jesus. I pray God today, alter, change. Ikadiga da boziga, we need your change. 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 Lakata da da boziga, lekosika tayana boziga, make us to be men and women who reflect your glory. Make us to be men and women who reflect your glory. Let us to be men and women who reflect your honor in the name of Jesus. I pray God allow us allow us today God to enjoy your glory in the name of Jesus. By reason of change by reason of change by reason of change. Father I pray as we seek you change bring change bring change bring change bring change Bring change, bring change, bring change, bring change. 
Father, I pray, let your glory come down. As the way they prayed and the glory of the Lord came down, I pray, let your glory, let your glory come down on this church. Let your glory come down. Let your glory come down in the name of Jesus. Let your glory come down. And house of grace, Mombasa, we don't want to move without your glory. We are praying, God, let your glory, let your glory, let your glory come down. Let your glory come down over this place. I pray, let your glory come down over this area. How we need your glory. How we need your glory. We pray God today for your glory. We pray God today for your glory. How we need your glory. How we need your glory over this place, over this ground, over this area. Let our services be full of your glory. Let our services be full of your glory. Let our members be full of your glory. Let our groups be full of your glory. Let your glory come down. 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 Glory of God. We are basukata yaboziga. Wabakata ramosikete reboziga. Nakote katila bozale. Nakote katoke ato sela. Makute sekele boziga. Let your glory come down. Let your glory come down. Let your glory engulf this place. Let your glory God surround this area. Let your glory garrison this place. We need your glory. We need your glory. We want your glory. We need your glory. As a church we are praying God for your glory. We pray God for your glory. We pray God for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Let your glory cover this area. Let your glory cover this place. Everyone God that congregates in this place wherever they walk let them walk with the glory of God let them walk with the glory of God in this month of shining I pray God let them be radiant in this month of shining I pray God let them begin to shine in the name of Jesus whatever they touch with their hands let them receive a divine glistening in the name of Jesus let them shine let them shine let them shine brighter than their colleagues brighter than their people brighter than their peers, brighter than their siblings, in the name of Jesus, let them shine brighter than their neighbors, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray God, let them shine let them shine let them shine, let them shine, let them shine let them shine let them shine, let them shine let them shine let them shine, let them shine, in the name of Jesus, we are praying God Today, let your glory come upon this place. 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 Come upon. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your glory, God, come upon this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want you to get a partner if you can. Just get a partner. Just get a partner if you can. Just get a partner in the name of the Lord. The Bible says that when Jesus was praying, Moses and Elijah appeared to him. And they conversed with him concerning what he's about to do. Concerning his disease. Concerning his, his death concerning what is about to fulfill. They gave him instructions. I want you to pray for that hand that you're holding, that God is going to send people, right voices in the life of that person to converse with them concerning their future, that God is going to reveal to them their destiny in the name of the Lord. You need instructions in order to run your destiny. And to fulfill your destiny. Jesus received his in the mountain of transfiguration. In the place of prayer. Pray for that person. Come on. Pray for that person. 
that they will receive divine instructions concerning their destiny. They will not be confused. Come on, they will not be confused. There's a lot of confusion. People are running helter-skelter. A lot of confusion. A lot of confusion. Come on. Pray for them in the name of Jesus. I pray God for those who are watching us today. Father, I join faith with them. I pray God that you're going to bring instructions their way. Lord, you're going to bring instructions their way concerning their destiny, concerning their future. Some of them are confused whether to be in business. Some of them are confused whether to be in employment. Some of them are confused which area to study. I pray God today that Lord, you're going to reveal it to them in the name of Jesus. Some of them are confused who to marry. I pray God today, reveal, reveal to them their destiny. Reveal instructions. Give them instructions concerning their destiny. In the name of Jesus. No more confusion in your life. I come against every demonic fold, every demonic hold that is trying to fold you into confusion. I break it today in the name of Jesus. Every demonic hold that is trying to put into confusion, I destroy it now in the name of Jesus. Zokoto Zondia, Zokoto Sombriala, Zokoto Brachiada, Bekete Zombrigazola, Bukazuka Brekezeda, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, spirit of confusion, I break it from your people, I break it from your people. Today, release God, divine instructions concerning the destiny of your people. We thank you, God, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody say amen while you're still holding that hand? While you're still holding that hand, the Bible says, and a voice was heard. Pray that they will hear the voice of God, that they will never miss the voice of God in their place of prayer. They will never miss the voice of God. It shall be audible enough in their life. Pray for them one minute in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray God for everyone watching that Lord will unclog their ears to hear your voice. As they get in the place of prayer, your voice shall be audible. As the church comes in prayer, your voice shall be audible. Lord God, I pray, unclog our ears, unclog our ears to hear the voice of God, to hear the instructions of God, to hear the leading of God in our lives. In the name of Jesus, open our eyes, open our ears to hear the leading of God in our life. We will blame Stabalabuzika. No more confusion. No more missing the voice of God. But it shall be crystal clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody say amen? Say amen. There's one prayer that I want us to make very quickly. It is deep in my heart. It has been in my heart for, for about two weeks. I want us to pray for our country, Kenya. I want us to pray for our country, Kenya. Regardless of your political affiliation, you are born again Christian. And your duty is to pray for the country. Praise the name of the Lord. Hey, praise the name of the Lord. I want us to decree that this country will not be destroyed. Because if we don't pray, if you don't pray, and I repeat again, if you don't pray for this country, you will regret you will regret. You will totally regret. Because there are things that are happening. Not only in the political realm, but also in the spiritual realm. And we need to pray for this country. Are we together? We need to pray for this country. When things become hard and tough and nothing is working, you will not be exempted. So it's important for you to lift up a voice. As a born-again Christian, lift up your voice and pray for this nation.
pray for this nation for peace. Pray for this nation that we shall not disintegrate. Pray for this nation that our leaders will not make wrong choices. Pray. Pray. I'm saying pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray. Pray for this nation. Pray for this nation. The devil is looking for blood. Baying for blood. And we have to pray. We have to pray. He is asking for blood. We have to pray. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Pray. 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 Break every sacrifice. Break every bloodthirsty demonic force. In the name of Jesus. We are praying there shall be no bloodshed in this nation. We are praying there shall be no bloodshed. 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 In the name of Jesus, our leaders will not make wrong decisions. We are praying God for the executive. That Father, you will give them the wisdom. You will give them the wisdom to lead this nation. You will give them the wisdom to lead this nation. You will give them the wisdom to lead this nation. You will give them the wisdom to lead this nation. In the name of Jesus, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, we are praying God, cover. Cover us as Kenya. Cover this land with your blood. Cover this land with your blood. Cover this land with your blood. In the name of Jesus. Every bloodthirsty demon will come against your plan. We come against your plan against this nation. We break your works. We break your hold. We destroy your network. We are praying God shall take control over this place in the name of Jesus. Nation, we commit it before you. Our nation, we commit it before you. Father, Father, intervene. Have mercy. Have mercy. Where there is judgment, God, I pray, have mercy. We plead uh, where there is judgment. If there are things, God, that our leaders have done, that Lord warrant judgment, we are praying, God, for mercy. If there are things uh, that our leaders have done that warrant your judgment, uh, we are pleading, God, for your mercy. Let your mercy come over this nation. Let your mercy come over this nation. Let your mercy fall upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, remember us as a nation and be with us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody shout and say amen? Come on, shout and say amen. I want us as we clap our hands, we glorify God. Come on, come on, just clap your hands and glorify God for the change that is coming in your life. Come on, the change that is coming in your life. Change is coming, change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you go back, I want you to make sure you make your prayer altar strong. Your place of prayer. Keep praying. Keep seeking God because there are benefits of us having a prayer altar. There are many benefits as we have shared. I want us to give to the Lord. I want us to give to the Lord. Prepare something good. Something good. Please prepare something good. Giving is very important. Our till number is 564564. Five, six, four. Those who are giving digitally, let's do it. If you're giving your tithe, just make your way in front. 564564. Five, six, four. Come on, give the Lord the best from your heart in the name of the Lord. 564564. Five, Five six four five six four. Those who are giving cash, just bring it in front. Let's redeem time. Those who are giving cash, let's bring it in front in the name of Jesus. And God is gonna bless you. If you're done giving, we can stand on our feet. We can stand on our feet if you've already given. Is there anyone with a special need? Just lift up your hand. I will commit it before the Lord as we close. If you have a special need, just lift your hand as we pray.
Father, I commit everyone that has appeared before you. You said, Lord, in Psalms chapter 20, that you will send help from the sanctuary. I pray, God, for your people, God. Today, let them receive help. As they have come in the sanctuary, you know what they need. Send help, God. Touch them, Lord. Let them walk with their miracles in the name of Jesus. Whatever they've been denied, I pray, Father, let them, let them receive it. Whatever their cry is, wipe their tears. I call them, Lord, according to your will. And I pray, God, make your sons and daughters rejoice. Give them, God, a 24-hour miracle that as they walk out of this place, they will come with a testimony. I speak it over their lives. Father, bless them. I pray for everyone that has given. Lord, I pray, bless them, increase them. Give them back a good measure. Press down, shaken together, and running over. Those who've given via online and they have needs, I pray, God, on the virtue of them giving, meet with them, God, at the point of their needs and provide for them. We thank you and we bless you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his countenance on you. May the Lord be gracious to you in your coming in and your going out, in your labors and in your leisures. May he present you that day having lived a life of praying on the altar. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody say amen? God bless you. Let's meet on Sunday. And please...